from my experience with technology and innovation and strategy is that a single technology does not make a strategy. In order to exert the kind of military leverage we've been able to do over the last 20 or 30 years, we're really going to need to be constantly one step ahead of the enemy. And I think we need to be concerned about not just hypersonics, but what are some alternative ways of creating the same effect. Can we fuse different technologies that aren't hypersonics in a way that gives you a strategic advantage? I think one thing we need to be concerned about is what is our overall capacity to innovate? Where our biggest challenges are is not necessarily pursuing um, the physics behind it, but also the testing. And that's, I think, our biggest challenge and what we should be most afraid of when we hear reports about China testing uh, hypersonic vehicles is what is their capacity to innovate vis-a-vis -vis our capacity to innovate. How invested are we in really taking advantage of any new scientific breakthroughs that come and then turning those into military applications as quickly as possible?